Welcome back, guys, to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest! Where we head on with this little ice cavern and find out what exactly is inside for us to get, or at least if we can solve the issues that were there. Why is our Zora King all icy and red? We have something that can cure him, we just have to get back to him. However, we've already found a dungeon map, a compass, and that would kind of suggest that there would be like other things like bosses and a dungeon item to find as well. Uh, couldn't even escape because of slippiness. Why do they have to have constant neck breaker boulders? Okay, how do we get up here? That's a question. That's a very, very wrong version of the song, Sam. But it does nothing at all, so that looks like a Song of the Scarecrow type place as well, so I really should have took my own advice. I went to Lake Hi. Hi. I would like to understand what you are now going to do to me down there, in the bottomless pit. Hi, hi. Are you going to fall into a bottomless pit as well? Good job, sir. But anyway. Oh, at least we can use this as a platform for now. And get up and get rid of this red ice. I'm going to have to listen to constant howling from the idiot blooming wolves. And find out what's going on in this place properly soon enough. So I did just realise we're under some kind of attack. Yes. Where's the second one? There we go. Finally Z targeted it. We have a place to move through. So what's inside? Ooh, kind of starry, crazy route. Hi, Stealth Boss. We've dealt with you before. We're not going to get hit this time, even though you take tons of it. What on earth? I have my shield up. Yeah, I got you of a jump attack this time, sir. Trade blows as much as you want. You're a bit more jumpy and defendy than the other guys. Hit dead. He was a bit more ridiculous than the guys fought previously. But what are we getting here? You got the iron boots so heavy you can't run, so heavy you can't float! Hello! We meet again, Ollis. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but... She left to head for the Water Temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the Water Temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zors, I will teach you the melody that leads you to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition, young love will become deep affection, the clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself.
I would like to understand how I got that wrong, considering the fact that I obviously pressed no other button and there was only that one note played. You have learned the Serenade of Water, and I'm just wondering if because I held that note really long, if that was what went wrong. I don't understand that. Ollis, I'll see you again! I think you should kind of just give up on trying to get out that way now. It's just not really working, is it? Ah, ice bats! There is another way out, however. Through this hole. Let's give it a go. Uh, where is our boots of iron? Oh, we actually equipped them in that fashion. Okay. Not an item. We just head down and under. Okay. So we're going underwater. We may as well just resurface just quick. Get our breath again. There is a secret underground passage where we can't reach the gold sculpture in the previous room until we get the Scarecrow song, so it's another place we'll have to head back to. But there is a door leading outwards over here. And leading very high above. Let's change our boots off here. And give ourselves a little bit of a look around. Is this a new room or one we've already been in? This is one we've already been in. I can't believe I missed you that many times. You're not getting me that way, sir. I'll smash your mouth. Right, so the one problem we do have is that there were two things to get rid of the red ice from. Whoa! Within the dungeon prior. Or at least within Zora's domain. So it might be clever of us to just go and pick up another bottle floor. Come on then, attack me. Ready? And we'll grab our extra bottle of blue fire. Head on out before that wolf horse attacks us. You won't get me, sir. I can flee like the best of them. I'm pretty sure that that room before we were in, by the way, with like uh, the wolf horse that fell into the pit, was previously a block puzzle, but no longer seems to be. There's a boulder right behind me, isn't there? Keep running, Sam. Uh, this is the platform, this is the room we came out in. They've already respawned, that is. Oh! I thought I was safe from that. Obviously not. Let's just follow it on out. That way we can't be hit with another one, thankfully. And head back into Zora's domain. It probably is fast as a swim from here. Not fast as a dive though, but that kind of actually created an interesting dodge. Let us four out Mr. Ruto himself. Zora even. I have to stop saying the Ruto. Ruto, Ruto, Ruto. Princess Ruto, yes. So this would be the King Ruto. Whatever. Let's four him out. Hello sir, welcome, you're alive again. Congratulations on that. I'll talk to you from my from your royal pedestal. Hello. Oh, I've come back to life! Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. 
It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. Yeah, generally. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. And we get ourselves a free Zora's tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it and you won't drown in the water. Let's put on our nifty new styles. Where are we looking? Over here. And now we're blue! We spent two dungeons in red. Now we'll spend probably two as blue, and then go back to our normal lovely green. There is one more place that we can fall out, of course. Let's head down to the Zora store. I wonder if he's still alive in there. Is it just encased and he's trapped inside or something along those lines? Open Sesame Store. And inside we see our usual wares, of course. A blue tunic that we got for free. In case we lose it to a like like though. We need to watch out for that. Who'd have thought it'd be so hard to break some blooming jars? But there is one thing we could do right away. And that is to head over to the Water Temple in order to speak to our Scarecrow friends so we have no more problems like we have been having. Would we like to warp? Yes, we will. Because all songs are warps. As we enter Lake Hylia, despite the fact that it seems to be raining, but completely barren. What is this here? When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. So we need to let water fill the lake, and then we got to shoot. Ah, I remember this. Shooting an arrow towards the sun, but we need to fill the lake with water first. And that is something we cannot do right now, I don't think. Right then, heading over. We could jump down into the lake, but we are wanting to see the scarecrows, so it's probably faster by foot, but faster without the dropping. Out my way, sir. No time for you. Is there anything beyond this great gravestone, maybe? There is indeed. We couldn't check it out before, of course, because we had a blooming abductee owl taking us away. What do you want, then? Deku nuts for five pieces for 20 rupees. No, thank you. Yes, go home. Come on, sir. My tunic now mi matches the hilt and scabbard of my sword. Okay, arrows again. No, thanks. None of you sell upgrades anymore. Okay, you got bombs as well, so none of you sell upgrades at all. I'm not going to fail the same issue that I did before by pressing B and going straight through. We're not going to mess it up this time round. And head over, we'll check out the buildings and the whatnot later on. All I'm really interested in right now is... Oh, oh, oh. jumping up on ropes. Is sorting out the scarecrow. If we can, that is. Hello, Scarecrows? Are you there? Bonjour. Aha. Hello. Hey. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hey. Aren't you the fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow, you grew, dude. Well, here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You, you're the one who forgot. Aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby. He forgot. Whatever. Hey, it's the ocarina. Play that song with it, baby. The simple, simple, simplistic memorizing song. I like how you like that song, the two note song. Oh yeah, that's it, that's the tune. You rock, I'm blown away by two notes. Oh no, no, I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything, but I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. That sounded really odd, when you want to call him. What the hell happened to my voice then? I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby and hears that song, baby. 
That was almost robotic. I don't want to sound like that. Ah! Now we have the Scarecrow song sorted out. We can actually go back and check out everything that we missed, including, of course, Volvarge's pit. And get ourselves what was at the top of either of those towers. However, we'll do that in a kind of, probably an edited episode, because there's going to be a lot of backtracking in previous dungeons, and when we've done them once, we've done them a million times! A ladder allows us to get out, thankfully. Was there a ladder that allows me to get in? Because people were saying there was. And I just completely obviously missed it. Here. Of all places, it was right there. Oh well, can't win them all. Let's call our horse and get over to Hyrule. Oh, you're, you're standing right there. Hello. Didn't see you there. Sorry. Because there's a lot we can explore at the moment, a lot we can set up for later, and it probably would be a best, better idea... Oh, I didn't even... I thought the sprint was still going on, so I thought I'd jump. To set everything up in the proper fashion, rather than keep heading on with the temples, and then having to do massive side quest session near the end to get everything. Plus, there's been warnings of the fact that if I picked up the Ocarina of Time, I wouldn't be able to... Oh, come on! I thought I had you! You're not even going to jump that, okay. Sir, you are irritating me, Epona. You are irritating me. So we're going to get off, and we're going to break this block. The one we've tried to... Oh, hello. Um... Why did you disappear, sir? We were going to fight. It was going to be good. Yeah, if I pick up the Ocarina of Time, the Deku tree closes its mouth? Now that is... Really? We can't destroy it even using this? Excuse me, Poe, I don't like you. There must be a way to destroy them. I'm obviously not getting the right answer. Poe. Suck my arrow. You're going to keep chasing me like this. Ooh, actually. That's a thought. Shouldn't his soul appear where he killed him? Time to bottle you up, sir. We've got a guy we can sell you to. You defeated it. Yes, we do want to catch in a bottle. You call a Poe. I've got to stop pressing B now. It doesn't work in the same way as previous Zelda's. I got so used to pressing it to skip certain things, and now I'm pressing it all the time. It doesn't allow you to just skip to that block of text. Yes, you can. You can force me off now, opponent. It's cool. I know you don't want to go into a zombie infested town. It's a bit scary in there. We should have a pwn out for this mister. Hello sir with the Triforce sign behind you. Don't know why, but whatever. We have a po in a bottle. Do I have to show it to you or do I speak to you? Hey young man, what's happening today? If you have a po, I will buy it. Your card now, zero points. Come back again. <laughs> okay, um, I just tried to give you the, the Po, and then I drunk it. I'm so confused I'm going to walk this way and just walk away. What on earth's going on? I drunk the Po. I did not mean to. What on earth? Oh, guys, I can't be bothered to walk for you. So we'll sort you out the easy way. Onwards! My lovely blue, blue tunic, spankly, dadly do blue. And head back to the Temple of Time. That was a massive failure. Is it my imagination or am I failing more recently than I have in any of the previous Zelda games? Maybe it's because I got so used to, uh, I didn't know Wind Waker, Wind Waker wasn't, but I got so used to, like, better aiming schemes as it were. Playing this game with a GameCube controller seems to be a bit harder than I would have thought. Let's head back. And hello, Sheik. What's up? 
You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The songs will return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. And we learn yet another warp song, you have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the ocarina of time and the master sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Olis, we shall meet again. That was a bit of a more lighty kind of explosion. But at least we didn't try to stop it this time. So let's head back in the past to end the episode. Let's do this, except we have to do it from the front. <laughs> and now we are but Child Link! With a whole world to explore and many many things to pick up, golden sculptures and other things to set up amongst the kind of world that we have in our hands so thank you guys for watching this episode tune in next time for yet more master quest and i'll see you guys around bye bye